It's the best of the Ron and Fez show right now on 106.7 WJFK. It's the Ron and Fez show. Remember, if you want to email us, you can email us at Ron and Fez. That's R-O-N-A-N-D-F-E-Z at AOL.com on your AOL for broadband. It's 277-4969. Fezzy, how long before that turns into a pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up? <laughs> He's a very cable guy. Where's that beer? Thought you might have called. I was in the shower. Just checking. I love pick up, pick up, pick up. Ah, jeez. <laughs> People don't like that movie. I love that film. Oh, Billy. You like Cable Guy? That's a bad movie that I'll watch, Roddy. Why is it bad? I don't think it's bad, but everyone, there's a lot of people that don't like that because they didn't like the dark Jim Carrey. No, it was funny. That's a movie I'll watch whenever it's on. Well, yeah, who doesn't like Cable Guy? I've never met one person yet who says, I don't like Cable Guy. My favorite was uh, Owen Wilson in there. Oh, Wilson was great. The yeah. Bad, the bad date. Thing. You know, and you know what? He reminded me of you a little bit. Yeah, come on. Let's talk about you. What is it? And he's like, I'm really interested in what you have to say, but I got to go to the bathroom, and, you know, I really want to know what you do and everything. I like it when he uh, bitches out the waiter, yeah. and then the guy walks away, and he goes, you believe the attitude? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, what? Owen oh, Wilson's great. I love him. I think yeah. he's so great. You love him like a boyfriend, or what, how much you love him? No. Just you want to be Rory Owen Wilson? No, this is a really good actor. I think. He's no, but I, I, you know, getting back to the cable guy thing, how come people not love that movie? That I think it was loved. I think it was loved a lot more than people actually believe. The now, that on? Yeah, because maybe they were just like, okay, you've had too many hits in a row. Let's bite him on the ass. <laughs> Let's show him a thing or two. Take well, him down a peg. Maybe because Matthew Broderick was in it. That you could know, be it. I didn't shot. mind Matthew Broderick in that. You love Matthew Broderick and everything. I think he should have called himself Ferris. But other than that, I think it was a really, really good movie. There's a guy who should have bought his own gimmick. That's weird. That movie was probably one of the first times I saw Owen Wilson. And definitely the first time I saw Jack Black. Was a cable guy. Wow. Oh. I'm trying to think. I guess we saw Owen Wilson in that other movie. But I'm trying to think if I saw it first in Bottle Rocket. You know, no, I do definitely like, didn't. I didn't see Bottle Rocket until you let me onto it. Yeah, like most things, <laughs> like sandwiches and all kinds of stuff. everything is cool. I have to say, Fist, please watch it. <laughs> he will never do it. Please try this. And I've had books I've been trying to get him to read for ten years because I know he'll love. I don't think that'll ever happen. My other thing for him now is books on tape. Oh yeah, that'll do. That I love to listen to. Didn't uh, Jackal come out before Cable Guy? I don't know. That had Jack Black in it. Yeah. yeah. But I don't I don't think No, I think Jack Black uh was in Cable Guy before Jackal. First time I remember seeing Jack Black was in that mu movie with uh, Tim Robbins where he was uh running for like uh Senate Oh, Bob Robbins? Bob Roberts. Bob Roberts, yeah. Bob Robbins. <laughs> As Tim Robbins. Hey Raymond, Raymond, you're on Iron Fez. Hey Raymond. What's up? Yeah, buddy. What can we do for you, pal? No, uh, just a really funny part in Cable Guy when uh, after he puts Owen Wilson on the ground in the bathroom, <laughs> and then he just gets up with a little shame up. <laughs> salt peanuts, salt yeah. peanuts, salt peanuts, salt because, peanuts. Because he tries to stick his mouth on the thing like Dizzy Gillespie on the hot <laughs> blow dryer. Thanks, Raymond. And he's picking his eyebrows, plucking his eyebrows in there. It's always very, uh, uh, wait a minute, the temperature's always 72 degrees in the air. <laughs> As he's playing the bathroom guy. How could people not love that? Remember how funny the basketball scenes were? Oh, man, that's hysterical. And then the uh, the great scenes where they were at the... Uh, what, what do you call those uh, nights of... Uh, the old-time night stuff? Oh, the medieval times. Medieval times. That was hysterical. Where he was doing the Star Trek things, going like... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. That and uh, Red Knight going down. Down, down, down. Red Knight going down. And putting the turkey skin on his face. Silence of the lambs. <laughs> so you people that say you don't like Cable Guy, you're lying. It was a great movie. A fine film. Uh, Walt, Walt, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, Walt, go ahead. Uh, a little known fact about Cable Guy was Kyle Gass from uh, Tenacious. He was also in there. Can you pick him out? 
Yeah, he was the guy at the very end of the film. Picked up the book when the cable went out? Yeah. All right, he, okay. He was the last scene. That was great. And Jack Black's first movie was Never Ending Story Part 3. I never saw that one. Yeah. No. What else did he do? Uh, Jesus is Son. He played a little bit of a serious role in the yeah, but that Yeah, but that wasn't the second film. I'm trying to say where were we saw him first. Where were you saw him first? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, Jack Black. Uh, no, right, thanks, Walt. Jeez. <laughs> you know, we're trying to be friends with you. Jeez, Let's Jack go. Black. Well, jeez, I never... <laughs> I don't think he did anything first. And if it's the never-ending story, why do they need a part three? Shouldn't the never-ending story just keep going? Madeline, you're on run this. Hey, Madeline, go ahead. Madeline, line nine. I know, I can hear that Madeline hasn't been punched in as I'm asking. What are you doing, uh, Wonder Boy? Hello? Yeah. Hi, Madeline. Hi. What you, guys you, are missing, you guys are missing the porno password part of the cable guy. Well, That's give it to us. <laughs> You know, I I don't know how it goes. You guys saw the movie. No, I didn't see that part. Thanks. Thanks, Madeline. You're a really interesting person. That's why we went to get popcorn. Yeah. There was porno password? <laughs> I go to line two. I'm going to have to do it real slow for you, Wonder Boy. So before I choke you to death, go to line two, Wonder Boy. Line two, Chris. Line two, Chris, Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy! Chris, you're on run of us. Hi, Chris. Chris? Uh, hello? Yeah, yeah go, go ahead. ahead. Oh, yeah, do you guys remember that episode uh, of X-Files with the kid who shot lightning out of his fingers? No, I never watched X-Files. Oh, uh, well, that was Jack Black. The first thing he did was he was, like, he ran the arcade like a big stoner kid. <laughs> and this one kid, he could control all the machines because he, uh, he could control lightning and kill cows. And he made the sign fall on Jack Black because he was, like, talking to the FBI. Blah. Let's see, man. I'm sorry I missed that. But that's the Jack Black anthology. All right, Sheepy says that Jack Black was in the great uh, skate movie Airborne. Airborne. I never saw that. All right, Airborne. Is that with the one where the kid uh, moves to, like, Ohio? No. That's not that one, no. All right, then I don't know Airborne. All right, Sean does. Sean on line one. How you doing, Sean? Hey, hey Sean. What's up, guys? 16, 316. Yeah, buddy. Uh, Airborne, yes, is the one where the surfer kid moves to Ohio. And oh, it is. The All right. Jack Black plays the goalie on the hockey team. All right, so he goes back far. Yeah, it was really gay. They now, that Airborne movie hill. also has that little, that little red-headed Seth Green in it, too. Yeah, he played like an idiot kid that couldn't skate, and he skated into some guy's Oh, house. he was the cousin, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That lived in Ohio. All right. <laughs> so these guys are practically been active for just generations. Yes, it seems point. like it. And they're both, they both are still get booked as a team. <laughs> Scott, uh, line eight, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, Scott, go ahead. Scott, line eight. Yeah. Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy. Hey. Falling apart. Go ahead, Scott. Um, actually, the first place I saw Jack Black was in Reality Bites. He was in the coffee shop. He played some guy, like, behind the counter. I don't remember and, that. He has, like, a couple lines in it, I believe. All right, thanks. I saw Reality Bites. I don't remember a lot of it, other than Ethan Hawke liked to smoke quite a bit, because that's good acting. You know, you ever a big Ethan Hawke fan? No, I don't think he's a good actor. He's a guy who thinks that if he talks kind of slow and smokes... That's really good acting. You know, Fez, it's nice to be important, but it's important to be nice. I don't have to be nice to Ethan Hawke. Why not? You're treating Ethan Hawke the same way you treated that girl the other night at the party. I treated everyone just fine. I see the way you treated Ethan, Haw Ethan Hawke. If Ethan Hawke was at the party, I would have been nice to him, all right? Who would you be nicer to, Ethan Hawke or Tony Hawke? Uh, Tony Hawke. Okay, see? All right, yeah. Yeah. If I had to pick, Tony Hawk. Sure. Jay, you're on uh, Ron Fez, line 10, Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy, line 10. Wonder Boy. Line, line 10. What's yeah, up, guys? Hey, Jay. Hey, Fez, I agree with you as far as acting, but he's a good sketch comedy guy. And if you remember, he was on Mr. Show. Ethan Hawk was? No, no, Jack Black. Jack, Jack Black, I like. Jack Black <laughs> is terrific in everything. <laughs> I never yeah, saw I mean, Mr. Show. Oh, you got to get it. It's first, second season is on DVD. And I don't sell it. I don't get anything out of it, but it's great stuff. But yeah, I you're selling it. Jeepers Creepers. 
He does all the singing parts, you know, it's kind of his M.O., but he also played the farmer, and uh, when you don't stick your unit in the third hole, you got to see it. It's great uh, stuff. Uh, you know, there's no way for us to relate here. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> uh, we didn't see the, the show at all, so no matter how much you describe it to us, we're still in the same exact spot. Mr. Show is something that came and went, and we never... Never got on board. Yeah. Never even saw. Laura, Laura Brooks sent me some stand-up that one of the Mr. Show guys had done. But we've yeah. been too busy, to see. The Sex Files is the same way. Yeah. Came and went. Never saw it. Never participated. Why is the music still playing? Because I forgot to turn it off. <laughs> and then it reminded me of that. I, w I wanted to yell at uh, Hulk. But, uh, no, I didn't plan on getting into the X Files. I'm planning on that. It's too late. That show's over. Already? Yeah. That thing's done. Didn't they have the final episode? No. It's only second season. Kevin. No. With Fox, it just feels that way. Kevin, you're on, uh, on the show. Jack Black was also in Mars Attacks. Oh, he was the brother. He was, he was the, guy, right. the first guy to get killed in the movie. Yeah, he was great. In yeah, he, he got disintegrated. Went, he went and joined up or something when the Martians landed. Thank you, Wonder Boy. Thank you. Get, pick up the pacing. <laughs> All right, now, I'm just looking at the screen, Wonder Boy. Let's see if you can guess the right call. Oh, this is kind of cool. I'm thinking it. Get on a mic. Perfect. Eric, you're on Ron and Fez. That was excellent, Wonder Boy. Oh, this is too cool. Yeah. All right, go ahead, Eric. Yeah. Jack Black, he flew the airplane in Waterworld, and he drove my pickup in Jesus' son. Thank you very much. You went back to the guy that always annoys uh, Billy. Billy, trace him, chase him down. All right. All right. Billy gets fooled again. Yeah. Wonder Boy, bad pick. That's an annoying guy. All right, now, uh, don't go yet, uh, Wonder Boy. I'm looking up. You're I'll, thinking uh, of a caller. Yeah. Uh, and I will uh, put it up to Fez. All right. Let's see where Wonder Boy goes. I see what he wants, and we'll see what we get. Unbelievable, Tom, on line four. You did it twice in a row. That's cool. How you doing, Tom? I'm all right. How you guys doing? Pulling the gang, my friend. All right. Uh, JB was, uh, he was Sean Penn's brother in Dead Man Walking. A little dramatic turn. Oh, yeah, yeah. With Dead Man Walking. He went and he committed, was he the guy who committed the murder with them or no. was he the little brother? He was the brother was that brother, came yeah. and sat in the place with okay. them and, uh, and then kind of felt bad at the end. All right. Thanks a lot, Tom. Oh, man. Now you got to check all this stuff back out again. Yeah, he did so many small roles before he became the big famous Jack Black. <laughs> that we all love. That we love so much. All right, we going to do another ESP call? I don't think he can <laughs> hit three in a row. <laughs> I am fascinated by this. All right, Wonder Boy, I want you to really look, think the way I think, and pick the call. Three in a row. That's too weird, Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy. Nice work. Greg, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, Greg. Ron Fez, Jack Black in the Jackal. Yeah. Yeah, we saw him in the Jackal. Yeah, he was terrific in that. That was pretty cool when he had to run away from uh, Bruce Willis shooting him. Yeah. Thank you very much, Kinda Greg. Kind of him with the gun. Chief, chief. That's it. Wonder Boy, come back on the air now with us. Hey, guys. How are you doing that, Matt, buddy? How'd you go three for three? How'd you do that, psychic boy? I don't know. I just thought that those would make the best, uh, that would move the conversation along the best. That's right. You know why now? Now you're thinking like a show, right? Yeah. You're thinking like a what? A broad what? A broadcaster? No, just like broad. That's you. Yeah. You're thinking like you have like a... Like a Broadway a... dancer. You're thinking like you have a... I'm sorry about that. Why? It's working for you. Why be sorry? Why be so quick to apologize? Which is also shaven in a mohawk, oddly enough. Is it? Yes. You keeping a little uh, Hitler mustache there, uh, Wonder Boy? <laughs> I trim. I trim. Do you really? Oh, well, a little bit. You do? Not into a mohawk, but <laughs> what do you do? Do it into a little heart there? So no, everybody will love you? No, but I mean, it's just it's not like the Amazon down there. I mean, I trim it back a little you bit. Wonder, you wonder, you understand now why that girl dumped you? No, that, she thought that was good. Because you were using her uh, lady chick. Does her new guy uh, do the same thing? You know, I, I haven't asked. Yeah. See? When you don't ask questions, you don't learn anything. No, you're right. God, you're dull in the air. Yeah. You want me to take another call? No. Okay. You don't think you can pull it off, do you? I think there's only one up there we can go to, so I would say yes, I can. Out of all of them, you would only pick one? See, now I feel like I'm going in the other direction on you. Hmm. Now I'm personally doing it. <laughs> you tried to freak him out. Yeah. 
All right. Get in your head a little bit. Success. You think about it over the uh, course of the break. Okay. We'll be right back, all right? We're the Ron Fez Show. 